Welcome back to the show with Sarah Henry and Lowry. And now I want to introduce you to somebody who's been dubbed the portable priest. Reverend Pat Allerton has an unconventional way of adapting to his church being shut during lockdown. He's made more than 60 appearances in his parish by simply grabbing a microphone and some speakers and going around local streets singing hymns and saying prayers. Before we speak to him, let's take a look. What's the name of the street? Twilly Street. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of Twilly Street. I hope you'll forgive me interrupting your afternoons. A blissfully peaceful Sunday afternoon. My name is Pat Allerton. I'm a vicar in the Church of England. And I'm here by invitation of one of your neighbours, the wonderful Alexander and Emma. And um, I'm here on a Sunday because churches up and down the land are shut. So people can't go to church. So my thinking was that the church must go to the people. All right. I love it. That, that, hello, Pat. Lovely to see you. <laughs> nice to see you, Jeremy. And, and I mean, that's an unusual one, because if you're a comedian, you'd say, I can't do it without a live audience. But I guess a vicar can't choose in this situation. No, I mean, extraordinary times that we're all living in. And uh, for us vicars, I guess, you know, the realisation that we weren't going to be able to open our buildings, our people weren't going to be able to gather, just prompted a bit of creativity, I guess. I know one of your sermons, if I can call them sermons, has got five million hits on Instagram. So do you remember the first one you did and, and, and your feelings as you started it? Yeah, so I'm based in Notting Hill, St Peter's Notting Hill. And I used to be known as the Portobello priest because the Portobello Road runs straight through the parish. And I just decided, like, well, if people can't come to church, church, you go to the people. What if I went to uh, the Portobello Road? with a speaker system and just played a hymn and a prayer, just played an old favorite hymn, Amazing Grace, and then led people in some silence before saying the Lord's Prayer. You know, how would that, how would that go down? Uh, so I went off with my housemate, um, we plugged in and then nervously started because I didn't know, am I gonna get sort of heckled and booed off court, you know, rotten tomatoes, but just said who I was, just gonna take five minutes of their time. Um, and we wanna bring people together. We wanna bring a bit of hope. So then played the hymn, um, did the silence, led the prayer, and then was just surprised by this sort of gentle ripple of applause and some whoops and people really seeming to appreciate it. So it was a wonderful, uh, yeah, a wonderful encouragement uh, on day one. I know Portable Priest has 8,000 followers on, on Instagram, which is great. You, whenever I hear people preaching in the street with microphones, it can be a bit fire and brimstone. It, it, are you doing that side of it? Uh, um, no, I mean... I'm not. I'm, I'm pointing to the God who loves us. Not that those preachers don't at all. It is the same God. But I think this, the hymn, you know, tells us what we need to know, that he is a God of grace. And grace just means free gift. And God sent Jesus as his gift to the world, his own son, to come and die for us, to bring us new life. And that hymn just sings and speaks of hope and the love that God has for each one of us. And I always say, when I, when I do the prayer that, you know, the good news in this challenge, whatever people are facing, is we don't need to go through this valley. We're in the valley of the shadow of death. We don't need to go through it alone. We have a God in heaven who loves us and we can call him Father. So why don't we come together and say the Lord's Prayer, which, of course, begins, Our Father in heaven. So um, I try and take a bit of good news and point people to something more, whilst not pushing it on people, because I recognize I've had a captive audience during lockdown. And when you finished with that message, do you, have you then had any kind of response? Have you had people lean out of windows and stuff? Yeah, there's been a lot of people at windows, doorways, even just, you know, uh, distanced on the streets coming to join in. And that's been wonderful. And I've just been so amazed by the response. You know, I mean, normally on a Sunday, 5% of the population goes to a church building. But, um, you know, so not many people go to church, but people of every faith. I've had Muslims contact me, uh, people of the Jewish faith, atheists, agnostics saying, I'm so touched. I'm, I'm in tears here. I'm, I've got goosebumps. I don't know what's going on, but thank you for what you're doing, for it, for it bringing hope. So, um, yeah, I've been just wonderfully encouraged by the response that I just feel people have needed hope at this time. And there's, there's no greater hope than, than knowing uh, the God who is alive and who is uh, who loves us. Thank you very much. Inspiring to hear you, Pat. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. Take care. Reverend Pat Allerton, who at the evening standard local London paper called him the hot priest. And he very modestly said that's because he's under 75, because that's the <laughs> qualification in the Church of England. Um, brilliant.